Oh, I might have plans. Yeah, I'll probably struggle to get a babysitter. Well, you can bring Drake. Well, if Kate is busy, maybe we could do it another time. All right. Is he doing what? I was going to say she wanted to come to mine. Can't keep you all to myself, can I? You going to enjoy your night with your mum and your sister? Sounds good. Count me in, then. Well, me too. I reckon I'll ask Gary. Could do the night off. Brilliant. I'll see you later. Max into school okay this morning? Big tantrum on the way. Three guesses as to why. Well, it's only natural, I suppose. Listen, I'm sorry about last night. I shouldn't have interfered. No, you were right, though. If I'm to let Max see Callum, it's got to be on my terms. I just hope he gets bored and disappears before too long. Don't play games with him, David. I'm not playing games. That's just shocking. You got a minute? Benzie's asking. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, no worries. Listen, um, I've been thinking. I've decided you can spend a bit of time with Max. That's bigger, yeah? Yeah, well, just meet me outside mine at about half four today. Don't be late. He's been called away on an emergency business meeting. <laughs> Don't get smart with me. He's gone to a mate's house. Sometimes does that after school. I know, because I've been dropping him off and picking him up for years. <sighs> what do you want? A dad of the year t-shirt? No, all I want is to know that you're not going to mess him about. There's an eight-year-old kid whose mum's disappeared to God knows where. I knew that already. Yeah, well, I was just making sure you'd actually turn up. Because if you ever let him down, you can forget it. The bank's not going to give me anything. I'm already up to my overdraft limit. What about credit cards? Maxed out. Oh, same here. I could try and get a loan out. No way. Besides, you're in time. You throw mum out like that, she's got no ride. Mm. Should my ears be burning or what? Hey? It's gone very quiet. The world does not revolve around you, and why are you here? Do you really need to ask? No, I was a bit upset about the Anna situation, so. I came around to cheer her up. How very selfless of you. So, what do you want for breakfast? No, I'm off. What, already? Uh, busy man, babe. Mm those deliveries to me. Oh, shut up, Steph. See you later, though, yeah? Yeah. I'll take you in a bit. Suddenly the room feels so much cleaner. Oh, what am I going to do? It's Michael's wedding in a couple of days. I can't just let... Well, go and see him and tell him we can't raise it. Oh, what, he's just going to accept that? Well, if he sees you won't budge, then maybe he'll back down. You're right. Have you got any better ideas? When's he coming? Five o'clock. It's five now. Not quite. If any luck, he's been run over or stabbed by a rival dealer. Or maybe just plain changed his mind. He doesn't strike me as the fatherly type. I'll go. Wait. Hiya, mate. I want him back no later than quarter past seven and no sweets. All right, they're making my pa. Oh. All these rules, eh? Yeah, what well, I mean it. Don't worry, we'll be good as gold. Right, come on then, son. Hi, Ken. Oh, you're busy. Ken, no, Marie free if you want to trim. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just popping in to see how you've got on with Anna Karenina. Oh, it's one of my favourites. Really? Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? Well, actually, I've only had time to read the first chapter. <laughs> Most important bit. It either draws you in or it doesn't. Hope it's the former. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely drawing her in, Ken. She's loving it, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've not been able to shut her up about it. <laughs> to be honest, I've been a bit busy, what with the wedding and everything. Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in his own way. Oh, that's very profound. Well, it is the first sentence of the novel. Yes, I know that, Emily, exactly. Just what I meant was it's very profound of the author. Uh, uh, Tolstoy. Yes, exactly, Tolstoy. Well, we must have a chat about it when you've got a moment. I can't wait. Bye. Bye-bye. Another cup, Oh, thank you. 
first chapter. Not like first page. Oh, shh. I don't want Emily hearing. Maria, what am I going to do? Emigrate. Oh. <laughs> so how was it? Was it all right? Yeah, it was great. Can't keep buying him stuff, you know. I didn't. We went to the fair. He won it on the rifle range. The man said it was a brilliant shot. Oh, yeah, I told you. My granddad was a cowboy. Right, well, come on then, pal. We need to get ready for bed. How about a kiss for you, Daddy? Hmm. Cute little fella, isn't he? Don't know where he gets that blonde hair from, but he's got my looks, don't you reckon? See you later, son. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can serve girl. No, 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 I'll do it. I'm nothing if not professional. Yes, Gail. Four shots of Sambuca, please. We have white and we have black. How about two of each? Certainly, madam. So the, uh, the concept of a decent day's pay for a decent day's work doesn't ring any bells, eh, Colin? Dad, stop having a go. It's only asking Callum what he does for a living. Oh! He's a drug dealer. You are. Drug dealer? Had it from the horse's mouth. Well, Kylie's, but you know what I mean. Yeah, been to prison and all. Still, I suppose it all makes for a very colourful CV. Have a good night. Is this true? Well, he works in security. You don't have to explain yourself. Oh, yes, he does. All oh, right. Box way whiter than white. How many times has Gary been up in court? Wait, now you listen to me. No, you listen to me. Me and Callum are together, right? He's bought all the drinks all night and gets nothing but abuse. Oh, we're going. See ya. Where are you going? Home. Because as daft as I am, I thought we could have a really nice evening together. I shouldn't have come. No, you shouldn't have done, but it makes no difference because he'll ruin things all by himself Anna. anyway. Anna. Anna. Back already? Where's Michael? He went home. <laughs> Lightweight. Yeah, well, Gavin getting mugged kind of put a damper on things. Oh. Do you know, you two don't half know how to kill a mood. Mm -hmm. First he gets mugged, and then this weird old mate of his turns up and starts acting very odd. You said he was fine. You're a bit shook up, that's all. So how about you and me worry about our wedding? I'm not worried about that. Nothing is going to stop me from making you my wife on Monday. I mean that, Gail. Absolutely nothing. Bring a laptop to the reception so that Sarah and Bethany can say congratulations. Don't want to be able to see us as well. Apparently. Oh, technology today. Uh... Oh, Grant is amazing. I mean, just imagine if they invented little flying machines that could go from Milan to Manchester in a couple of hours. I mean, they'd be able to come to the actual wedding itself, then, wouldn't they? <laughs> Your sister's very busy. Wayne Rooney, height 176 centimetres. <laughs> Japanese spider crab, size 440 centimetres. So what is it you're playing? Top trumps. But we've mixed up the packs. Yeah, and I tell you, trying to beat Mount Kilimanjaro with an Austin Max is hard work. <laughs> well, it matter. It was just happy families and that was it. Yeah, it's not really appropriate in this family, though, is it? It is today. But once in my life, I want everybody to behave like normal human beings and this wedding to go like top work. Oh, well, come on, Mum. If you've not got the hang of getting married by now, I don't think he ever will. I mean, Grad must have more rats than Queen. Oh. As a matter of fact, I've worn this one before. Really? Which wedding? Uh, oh, Richard's, I think. Oh, you're lucky hat then. Just give over. Everything's going to be fine. Now get that down. You'll feel better. And you go and take him and get Lily ready. The time's ticking on. Yeah, come on. I'm kicking your butt anyway. He's right, you know. You think at my age. I won't get butterflies anymore. They're worse than ever. Oh, sweetheart, you're not having doubts, are you? None whatsoever. I'll just be pleased when today's over 
And Michael survived the stress. He is marrying the woman he loves. What could be less stressful than that? Hmm? Have some of this while you're here. Oh, you know, I really should get back. I want to make sure everything's okay. Nonsense. They can spare you for five minutes, shall I? How's it looking over the road? Yeah, good, yeah. And Nick has told the staff not to keep topping up Michael. I'll check when I get back. You have got to stop fretting, lady. Anybody would think you were going to the gallows, not walking up the aisle. I just don't want to lose him. You cannot go through life always expecting the worst to happen. Why not? Usually does. Just when I dare to think I'm happy, that's when someone rears up out of nowhere and bites me up. And you wearing that hat doesn't help. Give me flashbacks. Oh, now you're being ridiculous. Come on, tell us, Steph. Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. I'm sure. He's dead. I've texted Callum to remind him to get Max back here for our five. Still not replied. Wants me to ring him, doesn't he, and look desperate. Yeah, well, no way, Callum boy. Hello? I have more things to worry about than your childcare arrangements. Oh, Michael will be fine. So why did he sleep at Steph's? Why has he not been in touch all morning? Any more of that soup? Ah, well, surprise, surprise. I talked my dad into coming. I, um, <clears throat> well, I thought I'd try and bang your heads together. Say so, what I tell you. Can you leave us alone for two minutes? What about me soup? Please. Too old for Joseph. Hmm. He seems to get on though. Yeah. He had a weird thing happen in summer time. Yeah? Yeah. Mum invited me and Izzy to go and live in Portugal with her. Cool. Are you going? No. Why not? Well, yeah, it sounds amazing, but just up in sticks and leaving Joseph without a dad. I'd be gone in a flash. Really? Do anything to get out of this dump. Watch out! Not holidays, please. Pull it up, yeah. Ow. Max! What are you doing? What's happened? He's in the way. What do you mean he's in the way? That's not a very nice thing to do, Max. Don't care. Don't care. What's wrong? Oh, Max just smacked him over. Sorry. Did he do that? Yeah, it looks worse than it is. It was an accident. Max! You want to keep him under control. It's not my fault if your son's a wimp. I tell him. He's only three. You ought to watch your mouth, you little troll. Oh, what? It might get rearranged. Yeah, just try it. Right, stop it, both of you. Stop it. He started it. Look, it's all right. You can go. We'll be fine. Have you weird yourself? You sound like a ten-year-old. Oh, you know what? You are so yesterday. What? Missing out on Portugal to be with me. You think if I wanted serious, I'd be with a slapper like you. Max, come on. I'd say you've just had a lucky escape. A nice time, Max. Yeah, great. Time to call this. He was back early first time he wanted. Now you're 15 minutes late. <laughs> Spare me the lecture. Max, you come have your pill. No. Same plane as he is a bit. This is what it's like the rest of the time. I'm as concerned about him as you are. Yeah, right. Since you're out that door, I'll be outside, out of mine. You'd like that, wouldn't you? No, it's true. If you think me seeing him like this is going to put me off, you've got another thing coming. I'm here to stay. I'll just go, will you? I'm off now, kid. Oh. Don't worry, I'll see you soon. Would you like to come meet my mum? Your new gran? Is she nice? She'll love you. <laughs> see you later, kid. Bye. What are you doing? You're out of order. You can't stop him seeing his relatives. No, you should have run it by me before telling him. You forget him. I'm his dad. I'll do what I think's best for him, mate. Betty, you found out now, sweetheart, before you got in any deeper. Yeah, but doing that in front of chairs. How could he? All I was was his bit of fun. Yeah, well, we've all been there. You all right, Katie? Oh, I'm sorry about before. Oh, it's not your fault. How's Joseph? Yeah, he's fine. It was just a bump. Is that it between you and Callum? You deserve better. This is how I can do. You know where I am. Thanks, Chess. He's a nice man. That's exactly why I can't go to Portugal. But you're thinking about it, then. 
Listen, Chesney can always visit. It's not the other side of the world. And I'd pay if money was a problem. And if it doesn't work out, you can always catch the next plane back. Hey, what have you got to lose? I'm not backing down on this. If I have to see a solicitor, oh, there's no need for that. You can't just take a man's kid away without proper permission. It's not fair. I'm not going. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here, all right? Are you sure? Positive. So you can stop worrying. Okay. Cheers. You made the right decision, love. Dad, I didn't make a decision. I had no choice. What do you want? City away strip for Max. Don't you know about spoiling children? Not wrong, is it? Yeah, it is. Just want him to have all the things I never had. Maybe you're right, though. I might mention that at our mediation session. You honestly think the authorities would allow the care of a child to a hooligan like you? Not just me. Me good old mum's coming along. Max's real grandma. Maybe you and her could arm wrestle. When it takes Max. I'd get in training now. Waiters. Of course I'm pleased you're staying. It's just you seem so sure. My life is a total mess. Join the club. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. What do you want? Well, it's not a very nice welcome, is it? Look, I've told you once, Jimmy, I want me to tell you again. Get lost. Morning. Everything okay? No, it's not. He's harassing me. Actually, I'm here for my gym induction. <sighs> yep. Bang on time. Gym induction? Yeah. It's in the book. Oh, yeah? Why are you here? What? Well, don't you have a PT exam this morning? Oh, your exam? Well, I'm not going to make it now, am I? Well, it's going to set you back three months. I'll be two minutes, mate. <sighs> Over. Either take it or leave it. Ah, I see. You need to see sense. Yeah. Right, call me in an hour, I'll get it sorted. You following me? Buy me a drink. <laughs> oh, why would I want to do that? Because I need a drink. I don't think so. Want another one? I said no. Why you like me? That was before I got to know you. Just get me another drink. Come on, I'm taking you home. Come on for the road. No. Nope. I like cat. No. Nope. Just get a bottle of wine and take it back. Ma. You are no fun. Neither are you. Whoa, 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 steady, I'm... I don't like you. Trust me, feeling's mutual. Just let go of me. I let go of you, you're gonna fall Get down. Get off my arm, Colin! Hey! What do you think you're doing? Mind your own business. This is my business. She said get your hands off her. Or what? Oh, Chez, no. Just leave her alone. What better idea? You leave me alone. I'm not scared of you. You should be. <sighs> Lucky boy. You could have just got your head kicked in. I can look after myself. I'm not sure about you. I feel so stupid. Come on, let's get you inside. <sighs> Here it is. What were you doing? Just making me fool of myself. Today has been a complete disaster. I miss my exam. Hey, but you'll get another chance. I make a mess of everything. I'm a rubbish daughter. A rubbish girlfriend. A rubbish mum. I rubbish everything. Just don't see you forward. It's all right. It's okay, it's only Beth. 
I'll phone her back. Right now, I'm more worried about you. You're so nice. It just feels like no matter how many chances I get, I always mess it up. That's not true. No. And what about me and you? If it wasn't for me, we'd probably still be together. Maybe even have another kid by now. What happened, happened. You were unhappy and that was my fault as much as yours. You should be wishing aid. Not sitting here listening to me feeling sorry for myself. She's so lovely. Yeah, she is. Look, Katie, it don't matter how it ended between us. I still care about you. I always will. How did I manage to go from someone as nice as you to someone like Callum? Because guys like that are going to be attracted to you. Look at you. But you can't go there again, you know that, don't you? But what if that's all there is in the end? Maybe that's just what happens to girls like me around here. Of course it's not. You've got people who love you. Job prospects. I just feel like... one day I'll wake up and I'll be this middle-aged mum with a husband who drinks and I'll think... I could have been somebody. It'll just be too late. I don't want that future for me and I do not want it for Joseph. You're not having second thoughts, are you? About Portugal, I mean. So I don't like leaving you when you're like this. I'll take no notice. I'll be fine. All right. I really am sorry. I just... I don't want to lose my son, that's all. Yeah, I know that. And you're not going to. I promise. All right. See ya. See you later. What a word for you? What do you think you're playing at? Sinead's been in the hospital bed waiting for you to turn up and you're here with your ex. No, it's not like that. Is Sinead all right? Well, if she was any sort of boyfriend, she'd have been there to see for yourself. No, she's not all right as it goes, you big lummox. <sighs> she tried to stand up and she couldn't do it. She needed you and you've let her down. Listen, I know our Sinead and she'll never ask if she needs help. But if you love her, you'll get your act together. Well, maybe if you explain... What are you two whispering about? Oh, time to mind his own business. Mind your own business? If you must know, I had an exam and I didn't go. You what? I forgot. How can you forget something that important? Oh, she just forgot, all right. What's with all the questions? Well, excuse me for taking an interest. Owen. What is it with you? Why can't you just leave? Is it? it? It's fine. I forgot because I've got so much other stuff on my mind, all right? I need to get Josie for home. Oh, no, I thought you were going to stay for your tea. I know, it's fine. I'm not hungry anyway. Hello? Hey, it's me. Oh, OK. It's Ches. You'll be able to set your exam again, though, won't uh, you? Yeah, I think so. You all right? Daddy! You all right? There's something that I need to say. I mean, I think you should go to Portugal. Wow. I've thought about it. I've thought about what's right and what's best for you and for George. Hang on, how can it be best for a kid to grow up without one of his parents? Uh, I don't think we want to go there, do you? I can see now it was all about me. What I wanted. I suppose I was worried that he'd forget me. Well, he wouldn't love me. You know, I would never let that happen, Chess. People like us, we don't get too many chances to make a better life for ourselves. Look, she can have a good life around here, okay? Amongst people who love her. Yeah. Oh. Who, hang on, who love Joseph. 
All right, Owen, let him have his say. What's happened to Sinead? Well, it's, it's made me realise you've got to take every opportunity, because you never know what's around the corner. If going to Portugal, you know, is what you want, then you should go. I'm not going to stand in your way. With Joseph? Yeah, with Joseph. You have to be sure about this, Chess. I can't believe you'd do this for me. I'm doing it for both of you. What an adventure, eh? Thank you. And you know you can come and see him and we can come back here and... I know. You're making a big mistake, Mary. They're making a decision just because it's one you don't agree with. Night, mate. Chess, do you want him to come and stay with you tonight? Yeah, if that's all right. Yeah, of course. Well, I've got to go to the hospital first. All right, we'll just pick him up on your way back then. I told Max about that mediation meeting. And before you kick off, all right, I, I didn't go into details. I just didn't want him hearing it from Callum, that's all. I'm doing the right thing, aren't I? Well, you're doing what's necessary. Well, what if I lose it with him again? You risk losing Max. Oh, no pressure, then. Think of it as an incentive. Speak from here. You'll be fine. Remember, it's only mediation. Nothing gets decided today. Yeah, I know. Thanks for coming. Be daft. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Hello. Hiya. Oh. I'm Marion. Callum's mum. Gail. Oh. We had a right palaver finding this place. Parking's awful. We got a taxi. Oh. So, here we are. Here we are. Just think of the whistle. Cost me 600. I always say the suit makes the man. Yeah, or the dealer, in your case. David. Mr. Platt, Mr. Logan, whenever you're ready, please. Seconds out. Remember, calm and relax. That goes double for you. like a mint? Oh, no, no, thank you. I understand you'd rather not, what is it they call it, fraternise with the enemy. No, it's not that. No, please. I'd just like to say, I think Max is a smashing little lad. That's very kind. He's a real credit to your David. He means everything to him. And to me. All the more reason for you and me to be the voices of sanity in all of this. Yourself for so long. It's like my mum always said, you choose to be the person you want to be. One day you look at yourself and you realise, maybe I'm a waste of space. Maybe I've got nothing to offer nobody. Apart from the drugs. David, please. I'm sorry. You were saying? Uh, yeah. I almost hit rock bottom there. Then I met Max. And... And suddenly everything made sense. What made sense? The whole shebang. My life was missing a purpose. Like a direction. Mm. I look into my son's eyes now and I think, what the hell was it playing out? I'll tell you something else. I love that lad to bits. If he's from a stable home with a proper mum, there's no way I'd be sat here now. You wouldn't have contested custody? I'd ask to see him occasionally, sure, but 
lawyers, mediation, none of this should be necessary, but unfortunately it is. I know I've only been in Max's life a few months, but I realise that he needs me, and I need him. Bottom line is, the person I choose to be is his dad. Just... I understand the home situation is not ideal, but we're making it work. And yet I get that Max needs his mum, but he also needs continuity. Oh, and just for the record as well, Max didn't change my life, he is my life. Well, I think that's enough for today. I feel it's been very productive. Callum, have you anything you might wish to add? Nope. Not my style to kick my money down. OK. That's keeping it civil. Let's pencil in a date for the next session, shall what? we? What? We've got to do this again? Um. Next Monday looks fairly clear. Between me and you, this is an open and shut case, right? Mediation doesn't work that way. Oh, save all the touchy-feely stuff. Am I in the box seat, yes or no? That's not for me to decide. I'm here to help the two of you reach an agreement about Max's care. What she's saying is you can't bypass the process the same way you bypassed Max's first eight years. You're just making up numbers. Please, let me handle this. Mm. Callum, we're here to talk and hopefully find a, a compromise solution. But uh, Max is my biological son. That isn't the only issue. Well, it is to me! Something amusing? No, I'm just wondering what type of person you're choosing to be now. My guess is that one who smacked the judge. Shut it! Calm down! Please. Yeah, mate, I'd really learn to control that anger. I mean, you won't want to think and you're not a nice guy. Nigeria. Good spot. Tanzania. <laughs> Crikey! You're on fire. Well, sometimes it's the only thing that gets me through the day. <laughs> For me, it used to be Sudoku. And then Callum bought me a smartphone. And now I'm hooked on exploding sweets and grumpy birds. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that him? Yeah. How old was he there? Six. Yeah, believe it or not, he used to be a real mummy's boy. And now look at him. All grown up and a father to boot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be insensitive. No. Don't be daft. I've got a picture of David. <laughs> Is about nine. Oh. That's Barney's pet rabbit. Oh. Oh. We're out of here. It was lovely meeting you. Yeah. Uh, like. Why? Really? How come there's no milk? I don't know. Maybe the cow went on strike. Well, she was in the bathroom last time I heard. You made sure you two were all right, I see. Oh, you mean I had the nerve to use my milk from my fridge at my house for my son? Shame on me. Morning. Are you dressed as? Did I know the deceased? Uh, well, I just thought I'd better look smart for the uh, mediation meeting later. I think it's a choice between Callum and the Adams family, won't it? Well, if that's how you feel, uh, maybe I'd better not go. No, he's going to have his mum there, so I want mine. Is your mum bigger than his mum? I just think it's important that this family looks united. That'd be a first. Yeah, OK, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. Good. We need this mediation to work, right, because the next step's caught. But no footy in no man's land, all right? I was just being civil to his mother. I mean, she's done nothing wrong. Well, she's aiding and abetting. Can I come? You what? If my dad's going to be there, and my other nana. Uh, no, mate. Yeah, I don't think they'll let kids go anyway, so... Most girls your age are killed to live in Italy. Trust me, it's not all designer jeans and gelato. And the boys aren't always dropped dead either. You just want them to. Yeah, but weather's better though, isn't it? Mm, I don't know. Man can be well cold some days. Do you miss the food though? Don't worry, you'll be having it again soon enough. Oh, you really know how to make someone feel at home. Ah, yes, but this isn't your home, is it? Your place is with your mum. Mm, try telling her that. She's always working. It's hard being a single parent. She's just trying to support you. I can support myself. If you let me stay here, I could work at the bistro, bring a touch of class to the place. Let's face it, needs it. I'm sure I can survive without you. You're getting on that plane on Sunday. Oh, I don't want to go back. Sorry, Sarah's your mum. It's her call. i got to go. Way off. I've just got one or two things to do in town. Right, well, that session starts at one, yeah? It better not be late, it'll look really bad. 
I'll be there on time. And I don't want to come back to a mess later. How'd you put up with her? No wonder she's been through so many husbands. Listen, Gail is like an old pub piano, yeah? You've got to know how to play her. You know she makes a terrible noise. What's that supposed to mean? It means that you've got to butter her up a bit, yeah? Box clever. Otherwise, come this weekend, it'll be a river you. Yeah, but it's not even her house. If you say... Oh, say... listen, I've got far too much aggro going on in my life at the minute to be living in a war zone. So either you sort things out with your nan, or I'll drive you to the airport myself. Something the matter? Obvious aside, no. I ain't got a problem. Oh, it's a matter of opinion. Yeah, because I'm itching to swap places with you. All right, that's enough. This doesn't have to be confrontational. Everybody wants what's best for Max. <laughs> hey, have some respect for my mum. It's all right. No, it's not. Treat me how you like, not her. Now, where's your old lady today, eh? It's what better to do. Don't blame her. No one really likes to back a loser. Callum. Sorry, Mum. Just telling it like it is. We just give it another five minutes. I'm sure she'll be here. Some of us have got things to do. Yeah, and we all know what. <sighs> David, I'm sorry. I I've got another appointment at two. Well, can we rearrange then? Hold on. Me and Mum have made time to come here today because it's important to us. If you're going to mess us about, might as well knock this on the head and just... Let a judge decide. All right, fine, I'll do it now. You sure? Yeah. OK, well, things got a little heated at the last session, so I'm hoping we can move forward in a more constructive fashion. My son deeply regrets what he did, don't you? I do. I was well out of order to lose my rag like that. I'm sorry. Emotions can run high in these situations. Too right. I just want to do what's best for the lad, you know, nothing matters more to me. Yeah, so where were you then for the first eight years of his life? David, please. Sorry. My son has done a lot of growing up in that time. And he's ready to face up to his past mistakes and embrace his responsibilities. What planet are you on? I mean, do you honestly believe that? David, I really must insist that you observe the rules that both of you signed up to. Otherwise, there's no point in continuing with this process. Something the matter? Obvious aside, no. I ain't got a problem. Oh, it's a matter of opinion. Yeah, cos I'm itching to swap places with you. All right, that's enough. This doesn't have to be confrontational. Everybody wants what's best for Max. <laughs> hey, have some respect for my mum. It's all right. No, it's not. Treat me how you like, not her. Where's your old lady today, eh? It's what better to do. Don't blame her. No one really likes to back a loser. Callum. Sorry, Mum. Just telling it like it is. Look, could we, could we just give it another five minutes? I'm sure she'll be here. Some of us have got things to do. Yeah, and we all know what. Oh, David, I'm sorry. I, I've got another appointment at two. Well, can we rearrange then? Hold on. Me and Mum have made time to come here today because it's important to us. If you're going to mess us about, might as well knock this on the head and just... Let a judge decide. All right, fine, I'll do it now. You sure? Yeah. OK, well, things got a little heated at the last session, so I'm hoping we can move forward in a more constructive fashion. My son deeply regrets what he did, don't you? I do. I was well out of order to lose my rag like that. I'm sorry. Emotions can run high in these situations. Too right. I just want to do what's best for the lad, you know, nothing matters more to me. Yeah, so where were you then for the first eight years of his life? David, please. Sorry. My son has done a lot of growing up in that time. And he's ready to face up to his past mistakes and embrace his responsibilities. What planet are you on? I mean, do you honestly believe that? David, I really must insist that you observe the rules that both of you signed up to. Otherwise, there's no point in continuing with this process. I got to know Max. Kept my distance at first. I wanted to respect the family. So, what prompted you to seek a more formal role in your son's life? I suppose it's what my mum said, you know, I matured a lot and I want to do right by my kid. Why don't you get lost then? Leave us all alone. David, please. It's all right. I can answer his question. 
I can't get lost. I can't leave you alone, not now, not knowing what I know. What you know? About life in that house. It kills us to think what Max must have seen and heard. Like what? David, let him talk. He can have your turn in a minute. Their marriage was all over the place. They were constantly rowing and splitting up. No, we, we were perfectly happy before you came along. Oh, we just have to take your word for it. I mean, even your mum's not here to back you up. That's for your missus. Have you heard anything from your wife? I doubt he'll hear anything, not from what I know of her. What do you mean? I'd rather not say. It's important that we get everything out into the open. Come on. OK. Well, I don't like saying it. We were close once, but she's a junkie. I tried to help wean her off the stuff, but... Oh, this is a joke. This is an absolute joke. I mean, where do you think she got the drugs from in the first place? It was him, all right? He was the one who got hooked. David, sit down. Is that what she told you? Don't say anything when they're off the reds. But whoever gave her the drugs, they're not to blame, not really. I think you need to look a bit closer to home. Did you shut your mouth, don't you dare! Are you all right? Fine. I'm sorry. Forget about it. I know it must have been rough for you seeing someone you care about in that state. What about David's claims? You do have a criminal record. I've never pretended otherwise. I fell into the bad crowd when I was younger. I made some mistakes. And you're not involved in any illegal activities now? No, no way. I can vouch for that. I've grown up. As for the drugs, I've seen what they do to people. I just wish Kylie could have kicked the habit. Well, she had done until you came back on the scene. This is all down to you. I mean, how can you not see it? He's playing you like a cheap fiddle and you're just sitting there, nodding. This isn't getting us anywhere. I'm afraid I'm going to have to call it a day. But why? Because I've been stupid enough to tell the truth. Because we can't possibly hope to progress with you in this state. So, where do we go from here? Well, both of you have got a long way to travel before you can reach a compromise. Whatever your feelings towards each other, Max is all that matters now. Maybe the two of you could spend time with him. Together, what's the point in that? Oh, I think that's a good idea. Max might be reassured if he could see the two of you making efforts to get along with each other. You're fine by me. What do you say, Dave? We could go to the park. We might treat you to an ice cream. David? Whatever. Johnny, sure it's marmalade. Oh. I'll just have another cup of tea, thanks. Are you all packed? Kind of. Well, maybe you'd like to help me uh, peel some potatoes for lunch? Nah, you're all right. It's snowing. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's global warming for you. I beat David at football. No, you never. Yeah, I did. Oi, watch it, shrimpy. Would you like me to save you a couple of dinners for when you're back from your day out? I'm going to see my real dad today. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Hey, Maximilian, what's up, kiddo? I'm going to see my dad today. Yeah, all right, Max, stop banging on about it. Go on, go upstairs and wash your hands. Then we go. Yes. You packed? I don't want to leave till this afternoon. You don't want to miss it, do you? Come on, chop, chop. I don't want to get it at all. It's you lot making me. You best think we've been through all this. You can't wait to get rid of me, can you? I thought my mum was bad, but you lot are even worse. It's like I'm not even part of this family at all. Oh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? Do you think it's too early for a glass of wine? The corner shop. Sorry, baby boy. My dad was semi-pro when he was younger. It's in the jeans. Let's hope so anyway. Whoa! Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he gets a bit carried away. They do, don't they? He's a bonny little lad. Yeah. Uh, he loves nothing more than he could come out with his dad's. I think it's lovely you boys can adopt these days. Mm. I'm hoping for a girl next. <laughs> come on, Maxie lad! Oh! <laughs> the crowd goes wild! <laughs> what a goal! Yes! Whoa! Definitely in the jeans, lad. 
I'm just having a bad day. I mean, I probably should have left the kids tomorrow. Well, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it, eh, son? Yeah. What do you reckon we go for pizzas? Yeah! No. Oh, please. Oh, we've had a nice time, yeah, but it's time to call it a day. Cold. It's a bit tight, isn't it? I want to go for pizza. Yeah, well, we're not now. Come on. See you tomorrow. See what David says, eh? I'll see you soon, mate. Come on. I hate you. Don't blame me, Sarah. Bethany deliberately missed that plane. Speak to your mum, will you, Bethany? Got nothing to say to her. Well, I don't know what you think I can do this side of the Atlantic. English Channel, whatever. Do you want gravy on your dinner, Max? I want pizza with my dad. Stop being childish. I am a child. Bethany, I'm warning you, if you don't speak to what? your mum... What are you going to do, Uncle Nick? Yeah, Uncle Nick, what are you going to do? Yes, this goes down the loo in five seconds if you don't speak to your mum. He means it. Dispatosa. Where are you going? To my room. You don't even live here. What did she just say? Sarah! Bethany! That language is unacceptable in this house. What, Italian? Yeah, Max, what do you say? I want pizza. Sarah, none of this is my fault. I mean, maybe if you kept a better eye on your daughter... Hello? Uh... <sighs> Cheeky mare's on my phone. Right, I'm off to work. What? And just leave her here with me? I try my best. And in the words of your darling granddaughter, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. And I mean that. She's taking my sound system. I'm not eating this. Max, you eat your dinner or there's no TV for a week. You're not leaving me with bride of chocolate. I have had a guts full today. Is it too much to ask for a nice, peaceful Sunday? Well, in, in this house, yeah, it probably is. Yeah, well, I have had it up to here. Well, where are you going? I'm going to the Rovers. Emily's got that butler's auction thing on. Maybe I can bid for a whole new family. What are you doing? Bethany? Can't you take a joke? I sleep on the sofa in my house so you can have a bed and then you go and do this. I thought you had to be up for work. It's not funny. <sighs> All right, I've got it. Uh, have you, though? A pair of you? Don't look at me. You're a mother. I didn't tell her to do it. No, but you're who she gets it off, aren't you? I bet it's in the jeans. All this fuss over a few drops of water. So you two go back to Italy, yeah, the better. Oh, don't worry. We're not staying any longer than we need to. Good. You can't behave like that when you're a guest. And I can't carry on saying sorry. Yeah, but when are you going to learn? Is it any wonder he wants us out? Can we go shopping? Oh, yeah. Reward bad behaviour. Let's do it. Yeah, it'll keep me out of trouble. We don't have to buy anything. We can just have a look around the shops. This afternoon, maybe? I'll see. All right, I'm going. Is it too much to ask you? It'll lock up if you go out. Do you have to be so unpleasant? If it helps get rid of you, yeah. What do you want? Bought this for Max. I did promise to him, and I'm a man of my words, so... Is that it? Do you want to pick him up from school this afternoon? No, I don't. All right? Sorry, are you talking to me? I'm just talking to both of you. <laughs> You're not going to introduce me? No. I do one. Is that Max's dad? How would you guess? He is fit. Ugh, not exactly the Montenapo, is it? You mean that street in Milan where we can't afford to buy anything? That's nice. You're not still in a mood. Don't tell me you didn't find it funny when I was splashing water on him. Look, I thought we'd come to an agreement we would both try harder. Yeah, and I will. Still doesn't solve the Milan problem, though, does it? Well, I was thinking... 
We could find you a school where you're happier and I'm going to work fewer hours so that we can see each other more. To argue? We're going back whether you like it or not. Hmm. Uh, we met this morning. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Ooh, don't need to be like that. Like what? Normal? How do you know David? Oh, are you still here? What are you? His mate? Family? An old squeeze? Oh, please. You must be joking. He's my uncle. Ah. Bethany. Well, he was only going to find out. So you're his sister and her mum? <sighs> Look, I know who you are. So just jog on, all right? Well, this just got interesting. Really interesting. Oh, yes, please. Mm, well, you've had all you're getting today, madam. Oh, and you can have something else? This is for work. Oh, mm. yeah, right. It is. I need to look good in the office. Can't wear the same things every day. Well, I need to look good at school. Oh, this will go with loads of my things. Right, I'm having it. Then, I think we'd better be getting back. Mm, to David and Gran, that'll be nice. Well, if you would behave yourself... Oh, yeah, cos everything's always my fault. Uh, it wasn't me who got expelled. La, 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 la. I'm off to have another quick look over there. Right, well, I'll be outside. Just this, you Robin? Yeah, thank you. Small world! Name's Callum, by the way. Although you probably know that, David's told you all about me. What's your name? And why have I never seen you before? Oi, what's he told you about me? Pack of lies knowing him. Look right, either you go or... Ooh. Oh, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Stop her! She's a thief! Oh, uh, put on it. Stop that girl, someone! Get in. Amazing was that. Grow up, Bethany. We nearly ended up in jail. Jail? Did you actually just use the word jail? She's been playing too much of that. What's that board game called where they send you to jail? I know loads of games where you can end up in jail. <laughs> it's Monopoly. Ah, so that's what you do with yourself in the evening. Play board games. Oh, yeah, I'm never off that kaplunk. <laughs> She's out more than me, this one. Not exactly mother of the year. Shut up, Beth. Just get inside. Thanks for the lift, mate. I owe you one. Uh, he's not your mate, and no, you don't. She's a right one, your kid. Chip off the old block, I reckon. We are nothing like each other. Anyway, thanks for, you know. Show me you mean it. Meet me in there tonight. I've got a teenage daughter to look after. Nah, you're joking, right? I heard what she said. I bet you're out with the stars and in with the milk. Oh, just because you did what you did, it doesn't change anything. Do you get that? So is that a yes or a yes to a drink with me? I would not have a drink with you if you were the last man on the planet. I'll be in the pub if you change your mind. I won't. You might. Don't hold your breath. Oh, no, actually do. For a very long time. performance today. She's been shoplifting. Uh, proof. There is none. Oh, do you want a slap? Hey, dear. Come on, then. I'll call social services. I'd like to see you try. Why? What do you mean, why? If she hits me, I've got rights. The customer's always right, and the child is oh, always finally. right. finally! You admit you're a child. And no, the customer isn't right when they're nicking the late's fashion. Ugh, call that fashion. Why were you with him? What? Go on, I'm waiting. Why are you doing that creepy voice? Oh, I forgot it's your normal one. It's trouble. You said. Can I have a minute with your mother on her own, please, Bethany? You do not have to do anything he says. With a pleasure. Oh, just spare me the lecture. You don't like the guy. He's your ex's ex. Kylie is not my ex. 
Well, I don't see her knocking about here, so if that's her idea of a relationship... He got her onto drugs, all right? She was probably gagging to take him and living with you. What we had was good. Good? Yeah. She's a junkie. Well, she was all right when I was with her. David, you ate all that. She went walkabout, dumped her kids on you. You still live with your mum. What a catch. I'm surprised I'm not queuing around the block for you. Right, OK. Am I meant to insult you now? Is that it? Well, pull up a chair. This could take a while. I'll tell you what, get cracking. I'll be back in an hour. I'll catch the end of it. Well, where are you going? Pub. <sighs> Need tea cents. I fancied a drink. You just happen to be here. I'll get him in then. No, I will. Then the debt's paid. Well, hello, Sarah. I heard you were back. What can I get you, my little Italian takeaway? Pint and uh, white wine spritz, please. Right. Well, nice to see you again. You too. Mm. You know, if your daughter's serious about shoplifting... What? I can introduce her to some people. Are you for real? Hmm. Um, Milan, eh? So why are you slumming it in Weatherfield? Family's here. Got it to do. Mm. Now you met me, you're going to stick around? You don't all fancy yourself. <laughs> Not as much as you fancy me. I don't know what it is about him, but he saves the bad news. But the women, they can't get enough of him. Mm. Not to do with him being dead good-looking, then, though. Loaded. Flash car. Yeah, all right, mate. Stop rubbing it in, eh? See you later. Yeah, see ya. Sarah, I'm, uh, I'm going for a kebab, if you fancy it. I see. No, I'm good, thanks. I'll go on. I'm not sure I could take the excitement. <laughs> yeah, I know. What we could do with a proper catch-up, eh? You heard what she said, mate. I'm talking to her, not you. It's getting boring, mate. To let sweet cheeks do one. Mm. All right. Billy no mates. Yeah, well, they did ask your mum, but uh, well, she was she's with that Callum now. She's only doing it to get a reaction. Are you from? You. You must know she's still got feelings for you. I'll get a Donica back, please. I got it in my eye once. I'd gone blind. The pain, the pain was unbelievable. It was worse than when I stood in that nail once. I know you're just trying to change the subject. I'm not lying, you know. My mum was mad for you. No way. Many would have thought she was uh, seeing that Roberto fella. Oh, he's just a distraction. It's you she's into. You know our flat in Milan? Yeah. She has this, like... Well, it's not a shrine exactly, but it's like this table devoted to you. There's a picture of you on it, a T-shirt she nicked off you years ago, a lock of your hair. Sorry if that freaked you out. I know my mum comes across all gobby and everything, but deep down she's... Look, if this is boring you, I'll just shut up about it. Uh, who'd have thought it, eh? A freak like him having such a gorgeous sister. Did you get the brains as well as the oh, looks? Oh, shut up, you. Only I get to slag my brother off. You are aware what he says about me. Oh, can you blame him? You're a nightmare by all accounts. Uh, I've had my moments in the past, but who hasn't? Oh, you reformed now, have you? Bad lad turned good. I just want to see my kid. Bless. Let me take you out next week. I'm washing my hair. Come on, we'll have a laugh. A nice meal. Oh, yeah, a bag of chips, scraps, mushy pizza from Lucky. I know a fantastic place on the canal. If you half squint your eyes, you feel like you're in Venice until a shopping trolley rolls down the airwell. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, back off. Whoa. What? I'm not thick, you know. I know what you're doing. You think you can use me to get to our David? You can forget it. You've got me all wrong. I just want to spend some time with you. Is that a crime? And yeah, if I get to stick two fingers up at your brother, I see that as a bonus. I'll see you around. So, so, did you kiss him or what? Keep that out. You did? You kissed him? I don't blame you, though. He's fit. So you're back, then? State the obvious. Do you think you're playing up? Hey, Mum, is Callum going to be my new daddy? 
You do realise it's only using you to get to me, don't you? Oh, yeah, cos everything is always about you. You're not seeing them again, are you? It's none of your business. Yeah, well, you better not, or else. <laughs> or else what? Have you not learned anything? Don't tell me what to do, I'll just do the opposite. You're pathetic, you know? Oh, shut up, David, when's your neck in? So come on, then, put me out of my misery when you're off back to Milan. Sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. I've got a fantastic life. Top job, amazing flat. Yeah, well, don't let me keep you. Stop it! What? Oh, you're so annoying. I wonder where she gets that from. Oh, let's go to town. Look, I know life is one big holiday for you, but I have to work. I bet you're glad we shouldn't have to hang out with me. It's only me. Hi. You want Graham? Hi, Lord. I thought you'd be out and about, you. Mm, I wish. Uncle Stephen wants me to do this work and he wants it straight away. Mm, it's tough at top. Well, why don't you come and help out in the salon again? We're doing a stock take. Mm, not sure I can handle the excitement. Now then, madam, life is not all bells and whistles, you know. Anyway, it'll get you out from under your mum's feet for a while. Oh, thanks, Granny. Who you want? Stay out of trouble, you. Don't I always? My heart goes out to Faye, it really does. It's going to be ever so tough on her. Yeah. I know when I was 13, I mean, all I were interested in really were Transformers, <laughs> Dinobot, Striker. <laughs> I remember those. They were all the rage for a bit, weren't they? Black Arachnia. Oh. <laughs> that as well, which were uh, a, a cross between a spider and an evil temptress. She sounds familiar. I must have met her when I was singing in the clubs. I suppose what I'm trying to say really is I was just a big daft kid, you know? Mm. See, I don't see Faye as being mature, really. Anyway, at least she's got a family. Now, your mother was ever so good when this happened to Sarah Lou. Yeah, well, knowing Sarah, I think she probably did it on purpose. Oh, for a bit of attention. <laughs> Get off. What idea what's coming to her? Oh, well, she'll find out soon enough. I didn't know the meaning of the word tired to her, were you? I hope you're listening to this lady. Mm? Keep your hand on your hate, ne? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> How long have you worked here, then? Oh, forever and a day, eh? I've lost count. <laughs> Have you ever burnt a hole in someone's head or cut an ear off? Bethany, you're so bloodthirsty. I once dyed Vera Dutton's hair purple, didn't I? Do you remember? <laughs> she weren't laughing, though. Oh, and I got a spiky roller stuck. I mean, that was a right trauma. Yeah. Had to cut it out in the end. Luckily, it was in the back of a lady's hair, not the front. But I've had a healthy respect for spiky rollers ever since. <laughs> I'd love to work here. Oh, sweetheart. There's more to working in a hairdresser than just standing around gassing, you know. I know. It'd be good to work with family, that's all I'm saying. Well, your mum worked here. Do you know, I thought she had the makings of a really good stylist. I wish she'd stayed. Bethany, sweetheart, you can't wish your life away. She's doing her best. I suppose. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm parched. Do you fancy a brew? Go on, then. Yeah, you put the kettle on. Now, you nip over to the cabin and get us some at sweet. OK. <laughs> oh, so lovely to have you back. Wish you were staying. That's the plan. So, yeah, I'm getting behind on my work. I love it, but it is it's pretty full on. Mm. How about you? Well, you know, working with Trace is a complete joy, as you can imagine. <laughs> but <laughs> she gives me lots of responsibility, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she even lets me do the buying. Right? Yeah, yeah. Litre of milk, tea bags. The other day, she let me choose the biscuits. Oh, wow. What can I say? I'm living the dream. <laughs> Hiya. Hi, Jess. You right? You right? I uh, just wonder if you fancied meeting up later. Buy you a drink. Oh, babes. I'm talking to you. What's up? Nothing. I just thought maybe it'd be good to talk, that's all. Yeah, all right. I'll um, text you later. All right. Cheers. Bye. What's up with him? You have put far too much Mazzy on. I'm going for the smoky eye look. More like a black eye. Max, get the door. Hey, don't speak to him like that. Uh, it's only how you used to speak to her when she was little. It's all right, I'll get it. See, you've got to be firm with blokes and then they're like putty in your hands. You are too much. Hiya. I'll just speak the Hiya. truth, which is a foreign language to you. I was in the area, thought I'd... Uh... Have you got the present? Oh, why haven't you, cheeky monkey? Uh, Bethany, can you take Max upstairs for a sec? But my dad's here. Come on, Max, don't argue with us. But... It's all right, I'll get you a present next time. Bet you will. Something knock off from the market. 
Uh, that is so not my style. Max. Go on. What have I told you? Remind me. You don't just turn up here unannounced, and you don't do it just before his bedtime. Blimey. What time do you send him to bed? Give the lad a life, mate. Can you show him out? <laughs> oh, well. Looks like I'm in the doghouse. Kennel. Sounds about your level. Hmm. You look great, by the way. And don't call me by the way. I'm sure you can see yourself out. My sense of direction and that heart. Well, it'll match your sense of humour then, won't it? <laughs> see ya. In your dreams. <clears throat> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> you all right, Jace? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just... What? Well, the thing is... Uh... Mm. That's nice. You know, I've, I've not long broken up from Eva and... Yeah, I know. And, uh What? Well, I'm not being funny, it's just... Go on. I still love her. Right. So I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah. I mean, the last thing I want to do is hurt your feelings. Why should that be hurting my feelings? Jace, I'm really pleased that you found someone that made you happy. It's about time. Yeah, but it's just... What? I know. Know what? About you. What about me? I know that you still have feelings for me. Do I? Sarah, I'm trying to let you down gently here. I'm trying to be dead nice. Think that after all this time that I've been away, that I've been sat there in Milan, ripping petals from a daisy going, he loves me, he loves me not. No, but I... Do not think I would have called you or texted or emailed you? Yeah, but I... self-obsessed to you. So hang on a minute. You don't still fancy us? As if. Right. Well, I must admit, yeah, I did think it was a bit weird. Weird doesn't even come close, Jason. It's just Bethany, she was so convinced. What? Yeah, Bethany, she said that you were still... Oh, right. Now I get it. Yeah, she said that you still carried a thingy for me, a torch. Jason, the only thing I carried for you was Decree Nice Eye. And she said that you kept one of my old T-shirts. <laughs> The cheeky <laughs> little man. <laughs> yeah, I thought he seemed all right, that bloke. Well, you could always ask him out yourself. <laughs> well, all right for your mum. <laughs> Are you all right, Dave? A hot date, is it? That goes so well. Bit of an early finish. Just ignore him, he fancies me. What's up, pal? Do you want to fault with me or something, eh? Behave. Yeah? Then why are you staring at me? You idiot. Oh, he's completely blanking you. Yeah, only because he's got nothing else to say. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. Hiya. <clears throat> I brought Jason back. Hiya. Hi. You all right? What are you watching? I'm just some rubbish. Why is it in Hollywood films that no matter how ugly the guy is, he always gets a hot girl? Well, it gives uh, lads like David Hope, I guess. Ah, uh, you wish, mate. There you go, babe. Nice and cold. It's not work, that. Shit. <sighs> mm. Mm, you smell really nice, all musky. It's always funny. I don't think I've got anything on. Um, what are you doing? Well, I didn't see this one coming. Well, we've been talking and... What? We've decided we're going to give it another go. Really? That's hilarious. So, we're actually staying? Well, do you want to tell her? No, you tell her. <laughs> you tell her. No, you tell her. Mother! Oh, will you two stop it? Knocking me sick. <laughs> I'm coming back to Italy with you. So, thank you for having a word, you little matchmaker. Hey, it's... You didn't. <laughs> Could you use a hand here? Uh, hmm. No, that's just my uncle. No, no, not that one. He's cool. It's the other one. So, what's it like living in Rome? Rome? Never said you were ringing Rome. Get off the phone now. Yeah, I know. My mum reckons he's got anger issues. Get off the phone. Use your own. It's got no charge. We'll plug it in. Oh, what's going on? Sorry, Kaz. Just be glad your relatives are dead. Ciao, Kaz. That is so rude. Tell him, Audrey. Oh, Bethany. I do wish you wouldn't call me Audrey. Yeah, and anyway, I didn't think you had any friends. Duh, in Milan. She lives in Rome. 
Oh, Lily. Oh, that is gross. Take her away now. I'm going to be late now, aren't I? It's all right. You haven't got anyone till 11. Ooh. This place is a madhouse. All right, so where are all the other inmates? Gail's at the register office with Michael booking the wedding again. Oh, how exciting. And my mum has gone shopping. You see, now you call Sarah mum. Yeah, only because it annoys her. Oh, listen, I just want to ask you a favour. Can you help me out some more with this uh, Anna Karenina? Can't you just get some notes? Notes? Study notes. They sell them in bookshops. Really? Oh, sweetheart, thank you. Yes, well, I'll get them. See you, Ward. Uh, no, Ward is one thing. Ord, quite another. Right. Yeah. Hiya, Kaz. So, where were we? Right, I want it short on one side, long on the other, with a purple streak. How about no? Why not? It's my hair. No, because your mum will kill me. You can have a dry cut, all right, since you're not even paying for it. I'll tell you. If Sarah don't book them flights, I will. And I'll drive them to the airport to make sure they get on the plane. Mm? What are you reading? Nothing. Oh, David. Anna Kernina. Study notes. Bit old for studying, aren't you? You're never too old for anything. I don't know. Scaling Mount Everest? Well. White water oh, rafting? come on, let yeah? me get yeah? on with it, David, you <laughs> silly boy. All right, Ken. Hi. Um, oh, dear, man. Yeah, she's here. Gran. Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> hi. Yeah, I'm, uh... <laughs> Just on my way to the Rovers so for this proper lunch, and uh, wondered if you'd care to join me. Oh, well. You uh, might as well. I've not got anything booked in here for an hour. Yes. Well, yeah, okay, that would be yeah. lovely. <laughs> Bye. Bye, I have fun. Are those two up to something? Please, that belongs to me, white water rafting. They should come to Italy. Apparently, he's always wanted to live there. Amazing, eh? Amazing. Maybe rushing things. No way. Second I saw him again, I thought, you are the one. All right. <laughs> what would uh, Jason think if he knew you were eyeing up the blokes? No. <laughs> I did not do that. <clears throat> Hot kettle. <laughs> Are you done for sure? Nope. Bethany, just leave him alone now. What? I'm only making conversation. Just ignore my daughter. She's only 14. She's got a degree in being annoying. Mum? You're making a fool of yourself. I'm like, you're not. I have a good mind to tell Jason. Go for it. Don't dare me. I dare you. He'll go mental. He might if we were actually together. You lied to me. Serves you right for stirring. Oh, you're so immature, Mum. And then there, you started it. You're not with Jason, no. It's none of your business. Why do I get the impression it is my business? Gail, love, I made you fresh tea. Is that Nick again texting to chivvy you? Yeah, jump to it, man. Hey, you've got time for another cuppa? Uh, sorry. You're too soft, you are. Hey, is it all right if Gavin joins us for our meal tonight? Well, we don't want to make too big a fuss. Yeah, I know, but... No, Bethany doesn't know Sarah's booked her flights yet. She, she doesn't want a row. Well, I won't mention them leaving. I'll say it's just for us, you know, a pre-wedding thing. The more, the merrier. Hey, have a good day. ta -ra. Thought it was you. So you got in there. Stalker. Uh -huh. In our house, if you uh, drank the last drop of milk, you had to do the walk of shame to the shops. Well, it wasn't me. Well, according to my mother, having a dodgy heart gets you out of chores. Do you know, I've not even had a brew yet. Better get the kettle on. Sorry, I've got this appraisal thing I need to do for work. No distractions. <sighs> Lucky it's not you I'm after seeing, isn't it? Two Max, my main man, love bad scribble. The same bad scribble that's on a Weatherfield County contract. Kyle Stanhill, number seven. Saw him in a bar in town. Ooh, footballer. Didn't scribble his phone number, did he? <laughs> Dad! Yes, lads. 
how many times you text and I say when you can come. Yeah, it's, I do get it. He's got something for Max. What? Oh, well, he always has. Now, come on, we need to get to that club. Oh, is it at school? I'll walk him if you like. No, I wouldn't like, no. And I'd be bringing this up at the mediation, you know. All right, David. It's all right. He's right, I got carried away. You give it him. It's Kyle Stanhill's autograph. Yes! Who? Weatherfield County striker. Yeah, him who you've never heard of. Now, come on. He's such a mad. Just don't let him get to you. Ooh, that'll ruin your dinner. What would Mother say? She'd say, get a mega bar of chocolate and all, Bethany. Oh, would she now? Yes, then she can start on about how we need to go to the gym to burn it off, where she can help the fit blokes. Does this count as a mega bar? Maybe I should get one for your mum, too. No need. I'll make sure she eats tons at this dinner at Uncle Nick's place tonight. Then we're bound to be in the gym tomorrow. What time are you working out? Hmm, <laughs> that's subtle. You can pay for this as well if you want. Cheaper than the price of two bars of chockey. See you at the gym tomorrow. Oh, and sleeveless. Mum has a thing for arms. <laughs> Shy and retiring that one, isn't she? I know, I always feel like I need to do a stock take when she's been. Mm. His county's number seven. Oh, no way. Come on, the county. Is that that football? You didn't even know he wore this morning. Stop showing off. Don't be mean, David. Have you ever wondered if Callum isn't as bad as you think and you're just paranoid? You so fancy him. Well, mother, word with your daughter before I stick a fork in her. Another, or could it end in a food fight? Look, we've not come here to listen to sniping and arguing. We can do that at home. We've come to have a nice time. So, yes, please. Steph, another bottle. You need to think of this as a practice one for our big day. See how our little light bickering doesn't have to derail anything. A few more evenings like this, and you'll feel none of that stress. This is as bad as it gets. Oh, Gav, you're off duty. I'm only sticking him on the bar. Are you OK? You don't resent him eating with us while Nick works, do you? Why? Well, you seem a bit short-fused, that's all, especially with Gavin. They tossed a coin for it. Well, you can't argue with fate, can you? Fate brought us together. Fate brought him back to me. I'm a big fan of fate. I reckon she's looking out for us, don't you? But I'm coming back tomorrow. I don't understand why it can't wait. Well, the route is down, Stephen. What can I do? What music? Oh, um, yeah, well, I just listen to music sometimes when I'm working. I told her not to take that call. This is problem. Hi, Dad. Can you get me any more autographs? Well, your mate's impressed, yeah. Can you? Not tonight, mate. I've just come to speak to David. Came to apologise. Shouldn't I just turned up like that this morning? I'll stick to the rules, text to make arrangements. How are feelings? Just do it, all right? I think that's your apology accepted. Good. Later, mate. Fine, okay, I'll get it sent somehow. No, I am. Um, it isn't finished. I couldn't uh, download the images off the internet. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go and send that document. Where it's gone down, has it? You've ordered food. Yeah, well, blame Uncle Stephen. <sighs> she is such a drama queen. Oi, you took your time. What makes you think I'll come out for you? I've got to send a piece of work to Italy. What, Bethany? <laughs> no actual work. However, if you wait till tomorrow, I could deliver it myself. Oh, you going back to Italy? You sound shocked, Callum. I'm shocked you're going to spend your last night doing actual work. Why, well, what do you suggest I do? Hey, my brother's in there. So? I've got homework. <laughs> Although... I did tell my boss that my route is playing up. How are you with technology? <laughs> In here. What, are you scared of getting caught? And there's me thinking you're some bad boy. Yeah, there's bad and there's mad. Fine line. Anyway, you're just, um, just helping me with something?
Wow. Hey, Sarah. They're only a couple of doors down. It's what if. What are you wasting time for then? Are you sure you haven't just got me here to wind your brother up and now you're chickening out? Chicken? Me? Shows what you know about me. Huh? Anybody should be scared, it's you. <laughs> Always take her side. I just wanted us all to be together. Don't worry about Mum. She's probably just making the most of the empty house. What's that supposed to mean? Dancing around naked to David Guetta? Mm, it used to be Westlife. I don't know what's worse. No hot brunette tonight. OK, uh, sauces? I still think you should be eating with us. Uh, this means a little bit under for me. OK, never serve your stuff, is it? Who's this hot brunette, then? Mine's perfect. I, I might just go and put it back on the heat. A family meal means no disappearing into the kitchen. It looks fine to me, you know, I'll do it. It's on a family meal with Sarah flouncing off. Goodness knows when we'll get to do it again. I mean, you'll understand when you've got kids. Do you know, the best thing about having kids would be never having to hear that again. Mum's right. We have to make the most of these times. <clears throat> hey, Max, you're, you're looking sharp. New hoodie. Callum bought it, me. Yeah, cheers, Paul. Nice one. How was he supposed to know? David doesn't like it, do you? That's because David dresses like he's doing it for charity. Um, can we be kind, please? Mm, chill out, Gran. You've got what you wanted. A nice family meal. Grumpy, happy and randy. Eat your pasta. you miss all this when you're back in Italy, won't you? What time's your uh, flight tomorrow? Tomorrow? No, we're not. Gran. Well done, you. Does anyone want afters? I don't want pudding, I want the truth. So, I'm out. Where are you going? You have to see that brunette, whoever she is. I'll come and see you before you're uh... I'm going too. She's not getting away with this. Sit down. <laughs> Bye then. Good luck to her, whoever she is. So, your precious meal was my last flipping supper? Come on, it's not your grand's fault. She'd love you to stay. Why am I always in the wrong, eh? Bethany, I will miss you very much, but I am not your mother. You're right, so let me go and find her. Sit down. <sighs> Handcuff me, drug me, kidnap me. I am not going back to Milan. How could you be so stupid? Gail, look, I'm really sorry. I need a drink. No, you're not the only one. Yeah, well, we may as well all go, as soon as our Sarah's ruined the meal. Twice. Yes, Uncle David. Let's go home. Come on. I thought we were having pudding. Well, there's ice cream in the freezer. So we might as well all go home. Oh, talk to the elbow, G. At least it's got a point. Wait till I get home. She is not going to know what's hit her. Not you. Sit down. You've not been yourself all night. The way you bit Gavin's head off. Now, I want the truth. It's the wedding. I mean, what bride doesn't get stressed? I'll dig out my yoga DVDs and practice my deep breathing. Mm. You got something against bedrooms? I share that room with my daughter. Mm. Mm. How about bathrooms? Oh, hang on, wait. What? Shh. What? What was that? What? Shh. Listen. To what? Can't hear no get her. Oh. Mum! Mum! She's probably in the bath or something. She wants to be hiding under the bed if she likes life. Mum! Oh, come on, not the only nutty ones in the family, Max. Scream. Hey, Max, it's um, thingy. Them dancers you like. Look, you'll end up coming through the floorboards if you carry on like that. She can't be that far. It's not like I'm two years old. I'm a young, independent woman with a mind of my own.
I'm never having kids. And if I do, I'll treat them with respect and not be a totally self-obsessed, selfish cow. You don't want me to go back, do you, Maxie? Yeah, you didn't want the ants to leave either when you had a huge ant in the kitchen. A bag's here. Well, have you tried ringing her? Can I have some ice cream now? Yeah, you can. I'll get it, though, because you'll end up eating out of it straight from the tub. You need to talk about your idea of a good hiding place. Hiding? Why would I be hiding? So you didn't just hear Bethany shouting, Mum, 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 top of her voice. What are you lurking out here for? Too ashamed of what you've done? Did I hear something about ice cream? Why don't you sit down? I'll, uh, I'll bring it in. Oh, can everyone stop banging on about ice cream whilst my life disappears down the toilet? Why is the door open? I was just putting the uh, bins out. Oh, ice cream, bins, anything's more important than me. Well, you know what, Mother? I'm not going. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You knew we'd be going back sooner or later. You're a liar. You're selfish. You're the worst parent ever. And I hate you. Anything else? Yes. Your split ends need seeing too. I'll barricade myself in the bathroom if I have to. The bins are still out around the front. Yeah, I've just realised that. Where do you think I'm off to now, Barbados? Do you know, believe it or not, her attitude has got worse since we've been back here. The sooner we get back, the better. Then we'll be out of your hair. People wonder why I went off the rails. You forgot the ice cream. Your trouble, you. Do you have any idea how close we got to all hell breaking loose? Is that what you call it in Milan? <sighs> well, whatever squabbles me and David as he is my brother. You gonna finish what you started? In that? You don't mind cities, you got a problem with cars. I've got a 14-year-old threatening to scalp me back there. You wanna be a dad, you better get used to kids wrecking your plans. You got plans for me? Tomorrow I'll go back to Italy, to my real proper life. What happened back there was, um, was a one-off. So you count yourself lucky move on, eh? Uh, that's me told. And not a word. Please. Please. OK. Cool. Night. Uh, you never give me your number. Did you not hear anything I said to you? Yeah, like I said, you're trouble. Meaning? You'll be back. Well, if you're ever in Milan. I brought sweets. But before you go ape, can I go put my bulletproof vest on? Right. Who wants a drink and then we can talk calmly about tomorrow? No need. Look, I'm nearly done. Just like that. Is this a practical joke? Don't look at me. I had to think. And it's not just about me, is it? We're a team. Always have been. Go on. You've given up a lot for me, Mum. And I wanted to do something for you. Maybe it's time we do go back. It's a quick turnaround. I'm trying to be mature. Thank you. I suppose I better get packing then. Does this mean I don't have to watch the Kardashians ever again? Still, at least Max learned how to swear in Italian. Oh, you'll miss us when we're gone. Mm. Oh, um, I forgot to say, Stephen rang you a few times while you were out. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh. Right, Bethany, upstairs, quick. Go and get the laptop for me. Please go, go, go. <sighs> Ugh, did he leave any messages? Oh, I didn't answer it. You speak to him. Yeah, hello, it's David. David, your nephew. Yeah, the one after Nikki, yeah, yeah. Um, Sarah. She's, um, putting Max to bed. Um, so how's work? Back oh, yeah. Yeah, hairdressing can be like that too. Listen, uh, do, you, do you want to speak to Bethany? Yeah, all right, yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Uncle Stephen. OK. What are you doing? I 
Hello? Oh, no, just give... Yes, I, I did try to send you the report. I tried to send it a couple of hours ago, but there's been a weather problem. The internet's been down all night. What? No, I don't understand that either. No, look, it, it was a little tiny white lie. I have got it, though, right in front of me here. I can do it now. It will take me two hours max. Stephen, you can't do that, please. Stephen! What? Why did you email Uncle Stephen tonight? Just to say hi. Oh, and not to say that I was lying about the broken internet. Yeah, well, your plan worked. What plan? You know what? Then we wouldn't even make it to the airport. Why not? Because thanks to my sweet, loving daughter, I've been fired. That's why. What, even if they're not pulling the work? Grand like you coast for years. Who told you that? She has. When? All right, it's enough. What does she say? Yeah, I've had a family emergency. You'd think you'd show a bit of support. Seriously, what does she say? Yeah, and so could you all, for that matter. Look, you've lived here rent-free. You've eaten all of our food. How much support do you want? Oh, so you think I should pay rent to live in my own house? That's it, though, innit? It's not your house. It's my house. And I was serious when I said I want you out. Yeah, in Italy, family means something. I'll give up. Did he not pick up? The secretary's had me on hold for 15 minutes. If I can't get hold of my own solicitor, what chance have I got? I'm off to work. Oh, your grand says, will you pick up some biscuits on the way? <laughs> She's still got you picking up the biscuits. <laughs> At least I've got a job. That wasn't very nice. It wasn't very nice what he said to me. Yeah, you know, I've had a crisis, but does anybody care? Something is a right one, isn't she? Oh, she's an handful, all right. I swear she called me something in Italian under her breath the other day. So I'm on the internet all day trying to translate it. When's the wedding? Next week. Oh, David, um, does your mum seem a bit weird to you? Yeah, very. <laughs> More than usual. How do you mean? Well, it's just she was in here the other day and she was buying flowers, but she seemed really shifty, like she was up to something. That's weird, because she bought flowers from here a few weeks ago, but then she chucked them in the bin and said she would never get them from Dev again. Well, that's a lie, because this was about a week ago. She's always buying flowers from here. And she tried to get some yesterday, actually, but when I called her on it, she put them back. What, so she's getting married in a week, buying loads of flowers and then lying about it? Well, she can't have another bloke on the go. I mean, it's a miracle she's got the one. David, women don't buy men flowers. Hey, you don't think. Another woman? <laughs> I mean, no one will give me a simple, straight answer. What's he say? The solicitors, they won't give him a simple, straight answer. About what? When his next mediation sessions are going to be. Ah. Uh -huh. I mean, his secretary, yeah, she put me on hold today for, like, 15 minutes. And then she totally forgot about me, like, I, I, I wasn't even there. Hey, what are you doing later? When? Tonight. Where? That's the thing. Have you been slating me to Sarah? What? Only me and Luke were thinking we might go out if you can babysit for us. Hang on a minute, Maria, we were talking about me, Gran. Oh, sorry, love, what were you saying? I was saying I feel like I'm being ignored. So can you? Do you think you can babysit or not? Um, yeah, love to. Just these, please, Sophie. Oh, more flowers. I heard ours weren't good enough for you. I beg your pardon? Well, David was in. Say now you keep throwing them in the bin. Or you've told him you're never buying flowers from us again. And what did you say? Well, I told him you've been in plenty of times buying flowers recently. Well, I don't see that it's any of your business or David's neither. Will you defer? That's a very impertinent question. Just making conversation. If I was to buy a packet of biscuits, would you ask me who was going to eat them? Gail, are you seeing another woman? I beg your pardon. I didn't come in here to be insulted. Are you doing some work this afternoon or what? No, I we're only working half a day. I cleared it with Grant. Really? Well, no one's told me. Shut up, Marie. Audrey? Oh, what? Is this right? Have you given him the afternoon off? I said.
said he could work flexi time, seeing as it's a school holidays. Flexi time? Yes. Since when did that start? Well, do you know what? I'd quite like to do flexi time. Liam's off and all, you yes, know. Yes, I do know that, Maria. Look, is there any danger of you two sorting this out yourselves? Come on, you're keeping Mrs. Jelani waiting. Come on. Michelle Platt. Lloyd. You look troubled. No, it's just I'm, I'm meant to go somewhere with my mum, but I'm late. She said meet her here. You've just missed her. You any idea where she was going? First, I mean, it's just we, we were meant to nip into town. Only we had some flowers to take to... What was it again? The one up near the bypass. The what? The cemetery near the bypass. Of course it is. Yeah, see, I, I thought it might have been the southern. Do you want a cab? You won't be far behind her. No, it, it's all right. I can take my grand's car. Thanks. No one close, I hope. You what? Only I took her there last week and the week before. Yeah, well, it never gets any easier, does it? I suppose not. Yeah, well, I better, um, sh should be wet, you know. Thanks. They're a weird bunch, them lot. What I don't understand is if they go in the cemetery and he's taken Audrey's car, why get a cab in the first place? Hmm? So I said, Luke, I'm not being funny, but... Graham, can I borrow your car? Just a minute, we're talking. Are they in here? What? The car keys, I need to borrow your car. What are you doing, David? What's the emergency? Well, there ain't one. Everything's fine, all right? Be back soon. <laughs> Flexi time. Skyving, that's what I call it. Do you know, if he wasn't family, you'd have sacked him years ago. Oh, come on, Maria. You don't sack family. <laughs> You didn't know. Thought you'd be back in the uh, land of spaghetti by now. Yeah, so did I. Is um, Max in? No, uh, everyone's out. I'm alone, are we? Yes. Oh, well, uh, tell him I pop by. Say his daddy said hello. Will do. Cheers. When are you going back? Oh, he's kicked you out. Brotherly love. Where are you going to go? I haven't really thought that far ahead. Probably just get a little flat eventually. Who is it? Little Studio Bianco. Oh, I had a foot massage booked in for today and I forgot to cancel. They're going to charge me for that as well. Do you know, honestly, Bethany, I could kill her. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, I'm no professional, but I can give you a foot massage hey, if you want. I'm fine, thank you. Why did you ask me in then? To be polite. You seem a bit moody. Well, I'm not. You seem it. I'm not. I know what you like, remember? You get me a name before you know it, we're up to all sorts. Yeah, well, it's not going to happen today, I promise. You sure? Positive. <sighs> How can your uncle fire you? I don't get it. You don't sack family. Thank you! That is exactly what I said. Is going to go back then? She doesn't want to. But she calls the shots. I can't force her. Of course you can force her. I never liked doing what I was told. No kid does. Sounds like you want me to go back. At least won't have to do this anymore. Do what? Sit here, trying to get blood out of the stone. Suit yourself. What is your problem? You were bang up for it the other day. Yeah, because I thought I'd be gone. Ah. So you thought no one could have a go if they found out? What would David say? I don't know. I'm not going to tell him, are you? Oh, Gail! David! What, what are you doing here? Well, as Meatloaf once said, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was, um... Well, I was, um... What? Bell ringing? 
Been brass rubbing, have you? Looking for a dead husband? Let's face it, most of the cemeteries around here have got one in. It was a relative. I was searching for a relative. Really? Which one? Well, um, I've been looking at our family tree and uh, I thought my great-grandma was buried here. That would be your great-grandma Gavin then, would it? Funny, I've never heard you mention her. I've seen Dev's flowers on his grave, ma'am. I can explain. It was to wait until Michael got stronger and then tell him. Then Gavin died. Hold on. When did you find out about all this? The day we were due to get married. So that's why you bailed. I mean, you couldn't make this up, could you? You find out his son's not his son. Don't tell him, and then his real son dies, and you, you still keep quiet. Don't you think I wanted to tell him? I love Michael. Well, if that's love, I'd hate to see you both have a fight. It's killed me having to lie to him, to let him be duped by a cheap con man. Well, to be fair, Mum, I don't think you're giving him enough credit, whoever he really is. His name's Andy, and I hate the sight of him for what he's made me do. Well, then why'd you do it? Because if I tell Michael, it would break his heart. And literally, the truth could kill him. Well, not if he kills you first. You've really done it this time, Mama. When Michael finds out... No! No, he can't find out. For No, for his sake and for mine. David, you've got to promise me. Promise me, David. Yeah, I thought I were the egg case of the family. Where are you going? I've got to go get Max from his mates. Look, I've, I've got Gran's car, so come with me if you want. No, I'll give you a lift back. Come on, you've got to go. You can't be here when they get back. <laughs> you know how to make a bloke feel cheap. <laughs> yeah, you strike me as a sensitive type. But you know what? I'm sure you'll get over it. I will once you've called us. Oh, I'm calling you now, am I? So it normally goes down, yeah? Yeah, I wouldn't hold your breath. You've got more chance of getting me on the mobile than the landline. Oh, I'm surprised you can fit your head through that hole. As lovely as this afternoon has been, I've got no home, no job, no income. You are so far down the list. Mm -hmm. mm. <sighs> right, come on, go. You stay too long as it is. Put you in the garden. It's all right. I got this. <sighs> oh, perfect timing. Just passing, thought I'd say hi to the top boy. Hi, Dad. Could have rang. What are you doing in your dressing gown? Oh, my fault. I had to get out of the bath. At least you didn't get your hair wet. I'd uh, get back to it before your water gets cold. Yeah. You said you weren't going to drop in like this. Oh, I'm to bog off, fair enough. Sorry, mate, you're a stepdad. Wants me to leave. No, don't go. Please let him stay. Please. All right, fine, he can stay. Just give me a bit more warning next time. Yes, boss. <laughs> How's your day been, mate? Have a right belting afternoon. What have you been up, Siv? Pop over to the bistro later. Oi, you've told you that. Thumbs on the outside. I mean, we don't have to eat. We could just have a drink and watch the world go by. I could book us a stripper, and then we could go into town, hit one of the bars, before rounding it off with a kebab and a tattoo. That's number one, that's number two, number one, that's number two, Sorry? I just don't feel right with him in the house. Yeah, straight back. So I got to go up for his bath in a minute. Right, his auntie's still up there. Do you want me to go and hurry her up? Maybe scrub a bat while I'm there. You're all right, thanks. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. I'll live. All right, come on, Max. Say to our bath time. Bye, Dad. See you later, champ. Remember, keep that left up, yeah? Come on. Oh, Dave, before you go, I meant to ask, because your solicitor have been in touch? No, I've been trying to get hold of him all day, actually. Why? He might be avoiding you. He's got some news. How do you mean? I've called time on the mediation. We're wasting our time. You know it. I know it. I'll be seeing you in court after all. Bring it on, I say. Deadly serious to me. Well, I can't believe it's got this far. Oh, I can. It's the way of the world. Bad ones do wrong, good ones end up paying the price. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, well, you know me, full of surprises. Yeah, have a glass of that. Do you think that's a good idea? I mean, don't you need to keep a clear head? You're saying I can't have any? Well, that's had a nasty shock, it's entitled. Can you? I'm sorry to hear bad news about Max. Are you, mate? Yeah. 
Hope the court sees sense. Yeah, me and all. You know, it'd kill me to have my son taken off me. I don't think it's anything I could ever really forgive, you know? That's good, yeah. I mean, I'm still trying to win a brother round, but I'm working on it. Can't blame him for being worried, though, Spurns. I mean, you got a bit of a past, haven't you? Past and half, from what I've heard. Lived enough for two people. More wine, anyone? Yeah, I'll have some. I'm a wild days behind me now. Yeah, different Gavin to the old one, aren't you? Isn't that right, Mum? I wouldn't know. Well, I hope you've got some partying left in you. I want to make a night of it on Monday. Monday? <laughs> Your birthday, you great numpty. Oh, m Monday, yeah, yeah. Sorry if uh, I'm trying to forget it. Hey, you look like you've done a good job. But, you know what to say, you've got to celebrate your birthday. You're a long time dead. Gav. Seem in high spirits? Glad someone is. You knew it would come to court eventually. Yeah, well, I know I'm going to die one day. Don't mean I've got to be happy about it. There's no reason to assume the worst. All the best. Could go either way. Well, make sure it goes your way. Well, that's easy said. Okay. If it comes to a fight between you and Callum in a ring, no offence, but I wouldn't give you a prayer. Thanks. It's not that sort of scrap, is it? This is about cunning, guile, fighting dirty, and in that situation, there's not a man in the world I'd back against you. Look, I thought he'd mess up the mediation big time, yeah? But he didn't. He ran rings around us. He's cleverer than he looks. Which isn't hard, I know, okay. but still. You've got to work your game. Because when it comes to being twisted, this doesn't hold a candle to that mind of yours. So you've got to use it against Callum. You won't know what's hitting. I certainly didn't. Enjoy your food, won't you? You did look like you'd really forgotten. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing how it creeps up on you, eh? How bad? How old are you going to be? Uh, uh, 31. 31. Well, I don't believe it. Yeah, I'm sure I look much older. No, it's not that. You see, on your headstone, it says you're going to be 30. Yeah. I know, man. I know it all. What, what are you going to do? Nothing. Providing you play ball. Play ball. Yeah, silence costs, and I reckon you owe me a bit. And I'll be calling in that marker sooner than you think. Andy. Gavin's birthday card. Oh, yeah. I never know what to write in cards. Happy birthday's traditional. Right, um, happy birthday, son, love, dad. Well, that'll tug on the art strings. <laughs> Are they deliberately trying to wake Lily up? I hope they sort themselves out before the wedding. I hope they sort themselves out before Gavin's party tonight. Right, come on, Max, let's get you off to school. Go upstairs to fetch your bag, will you? David, you OK? Yeah, don't worry about me. Got a plan. Plan? What plan? I would love to strangle that girl. I really would. Oh, well, can you do me a favour and move out before you do? I am trying. Max, come on! Have you had my conditioner? Your conditioner? Yes, my conditioner. You know which is mine. I know which one is mine. You bought it for me. You can't buy me presents, then take them back. You're supposed to be my mother. Yeah, well, I'll start acting like a mother when you start acting like a daughter. I wasn't joking, you know. I do want you out. I've got nowhere to go. Go to Grand's. I don't want to go Grand's. I, just, I want a flat of my own. You haven't even got a job. I know. Sort yourself out, Sarah. Right? I've got stuff to do. Come on. Mum, I might be late for that party thing later. Uh, David? Like the ninth circle of L. I'm always gets a bit wound up before a wedding. Yeah, he thought she'd be used to it by now, though. You seem in a better mood. Well, man with a plan, huh? Now, why don't I like the sound of that? You were the one who said fight dirty. In court. What are you up to? Well, if things go well today, I might not even get to court. David. I need a favour. What favour? Can I borrow your car? Oh, and can I borrow Gavin? 
What are you going to wear? I don't know. Uh, the blue dress? It's a wedding. I know. We need to go shopping. I've got no money. And anyway, I've not forgotten your last little shopping adventure. Maybe we could get Gail to stump up for some new dresses. One, you do not call her Gail. And two, that's actually not a bad idea. Do you want cake? Uh, yeah, with icing and a cherry. Got them from the garden centre. <laughs> they were throwing them out. Free plants. We could discuss this at the allotment. OK. Uh, see you there this afternoon, then? Very good, very good. Don't be late. Uh, bring a spade. Yeah, bye. Sorry about that. Yeah, all right. Uh, two coffees to go. Please ride. Coming up. You all right? I've got no money, no job, nowhere to live. What do you think? Ah. I don't even want to be here. Oh, I don't know. This place has its attractions. Name one. Give me a minute on that. Hey, good morning. No, rubbish morning. Really? Maybe I can think of a way of cheering it up for you. Sorry, Roy, can I just pay? I've got to be at school by 11, see size at a year. Uh, what school is that? Uh, where the eye. He's not in any trouble or out. They're just thinking of moving him up, is it? Uh, £1.80. Are you going now? Uh, yeah. Is it all right if we come with you? Yeah, but be quick. Right, come on, you. We're going to school. So we're going shopping. Sorry, school trump shopping. Well, I thought I'd be going in September. Well, if you're looking for a good school, Rosie had a marvellous time at Oak Hill. I mean, it's private, but the facilities are excellent, and they do a regular European exchange and a ski trip. <laughs> Don't even think about it. You are going weddy high. Come on. Oh, where's your David? I've been phoning him all morning. How should I know? I'm not his keeper. Well, I've got a client due in at half past two. That's for him specifically, and I'm on my own in there. Uh, well, good luck with that one. Come on. Who's that for? You! What is it? Prometheus. I've already seen it. We, we watched it together. Yes, I know. It's your DVD. Not exactly going to get you an extra present for your pretend birthday. Worse than the Queen. Andy, that was a joke. Yeah, not a funny one. What's wrong with you? Are you still threatening? Can I have a word in private now? Private? What does he want? Oh, it's all right. What do you want? Call in that favour. I've got a job for you. All right, what's the job? It's all right. Cleared it with Nick. Just to fetch an order from town. Supplies let us down, so it should just take a couple of hours. An order for what? Shampoo, conditioner, hairdressing products, really. And why do you need me? Because it's a two-man job. Sure about this? Yeah, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. You break it, you pay for it. Thanks. I owe you. Make sure you're getting back for his birthday party. Yeah. Where are you going? Well, I'm just helping David pick up some uh, hairdressing products. Supplies let him down. Really? Yeah. It's fine. I hate landing in my car. What, is he a bad driver? He's rubbish. So why have you... He's my brother. What are we doing here? You're a good liar. Well, can we just get this done? Thing is, so am I. We're not here for shampoo. What? I lied. But there is something I want you to do. I want you to go in there and get me some drugs. And neither of you, because, well, if you don't do as you're told, I'm just going to have a nice little chat with Michael, aren't I? I? I've never done anything like this before. Well, do I look interested? Just get out the car and fetch me what I want. Or we'll have a little trip to the police station and see what they think of your stolen identity adventure. You wouldn't do that. Not been part of this family very long, have you? You don't know me. Now you'd be hurting your mum as much as me. Yeah, well, trust me, it won't be first to them. I don't know the first thing about buying drugs. Well, you've been pretending to be someone you're not for ages. So tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be a junkie. Now, go in there and don't come out until you've scored. I won't for say no. You're a bright bloke. You won't. Good man. And break a leg.
was quick. Yeah, good lucky. What'd you get? I never guess you were a user. Yeah, well, we're all full of surprises, aren't we? But you've got two kids, you don't need that. Oh, yes, I do. But you could get help, counseling. I mean, I mean, if you want an opie, it's not for me. It's for Gail. No, I'm only joking. She's never had anything stronger than us, but... Right, so what's all this about, then? You'll see. Sticky belt on. So where's Birthday Boy, then? Um, it's still hilly. Well, if you're still feeling poorly, mm -hmm. ma'am, then stay in bed. You can give him his present oh, tomorrow. Okay. It'll be all right for the wedding. No, ma'am, you don't sound like a fella. I mean, we all sound husky when we've got a flu. Yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. OK, bye. Audrey. Sounds more like Barry White with a sore throat. <laughs> Do you know, I never thought I'd be doing this, making signies for my son's birthday. When I think of all the birthdays I missed, when he was blowing out his candles and pinning the tail on the donkey. You've got to stop fretting about the past, think about the future. You're right. Today is going to be a great birthday for Gavin, and tomorrow is going to be the happiest day of my life. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> oh, forgot the nuts. She's sulking. I don't think she fancies a couple of years at Weatherfield High. <laughs> I've got all that to come. <laughs> Everything all right for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Just need a bit of a lift. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to do mine as well, yeah? Uh, yeah, maybe, if I get her at eight. And mine? Better make it seven. Yeah. Mum, you do realise all our best clothes are still in Italy? Yeah, maybe if we hit the shops early. Mmm, you just hold on to that thought. Have I not? Where's Andy? I tried calling him, I think he's ignoring me. This is his birthday tea. I know. I told him, don't be late as soon as he went off with David. Went off with David where? Oh, I don't know. Some business for the salon. David knows. I know. Is something going on? I hope not. I don't even know if he's in there. Well, it's his local. If he's not in there, we'll just wait for him to turn up. I should be at my birthday party. How old are you? Eight? It's not even your birthday. Look, it's, it's a stupid plan. Well, believe me, if there was an alternative, do you think I'd be sat here? Well, and, and how am I supposed to get the drugs on him? What, just, just ask him to hold them while I go to the toilet? Well, let me make this clear, yeah? If you don't do this, I lose Max. And if you don't do this, then Michael finds out his son's dead and that you and my mum have been lying to him. Basically, if you don't do this, yeah, you go to jail. So you just sit there and just think about it. I, I know it, it might not be the best plan in the world, but right now it's the only one we've got. This is calm. Never even said that. Oi, Gemma. Gemma! Right, okay, we know he's gone inside and that he didn't lock the car. What? Right, plan B. You hide the drugs in the car, we phone the cops, Callum gets busted, and you get to blow your birthday candles out. And make a wish. Come on. Probably wants it for medical research. Ah! Uh, <laughs> wrong. Oh, yeah. You picked the wrong motors in it, pal. Oh, hang on, hang on. I know you. Oh, you work at that Ponzi Bistro? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Gavin. Uh, how's it going? How's it going? Not looking too good, mate. Why are you trying to steal my motor, Gavin, from the Bistro? I wasn't. Huh? Well, uh, it's not looking too good because you weren't in it when I parked up, so... Callum, you better look at this. It's coke.
Do me a favour and clean it up now while I find out exactly what's going on. And I don't mean shove it up your stout yeah, either. Easy, yeah, easy, easy. Shut it and keep walking. Oh, where are they? David and Gavin? Maybe they got a better offer. Why are you missing them? No, I'm starving. Have a breadstick. Oh, I don't want a breadstick. Uh, I don't think so. Why not? Because you're 14. I thought you let her drink wine in my van. Who told you that? And she did. Did she? Some party this is. Can't eat the food, can't have a drink. No, that must be them now. Uh, or with any luck, somebody interesting at least. Bran, the stripper's here. <laughs> Very funny. Is Maria about? I'm afraid so, yeah. Oi! I heard that, Cheeky. Thanks for coming. How long do we have to stay? Not long, I promise. Let's just have a drink, eh, and try and numb the pain. Are you okay? Not really. First, your mum can't come because she's ill. Then David and Gavin decide to go away. Well, if you ask me, this whole day has turned into a bit of a disaster. Gavin will be here soon. He's probably just caught up in some traffic or something. Yeah, well, he better hurry up. It is his party, after all. Are you sure they didn't tell you where they were going? <sighs> no, we just said he was going with David to pick up some stuff for the salon. I don't believe this. No, I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's not like the pair of them have ever done anything daft before, is it? I'm trying to steal my car. Yeah. But I didn't know it was yours, otherwise I wouldn't have gone near it. Out of all the cars in the whole of Manchester, you picked that one. It's a very nice car. I'm very fond of it myself. Do you want me to give him a smack? Maybe later. Run that next bit by me again. Well, and the stuff fell out of my pocket. The cocaine? Yeah, the cocaine. The bag must have split, because it, it spilled everywhere, and I, I was trying to clean it up, and then you found me. Can I give him a smack now? Why does he get to have all the fun? Will you two shut up? I'm trying to think here. Look, I know I messed up. It was a mistake, and I'm sorry. You dumped a load of Class A's on the floor of my car. Sorry, don't cut it. So what are you going to do? You're going to call the police? The police? That's not how we handle things around here, mate. If I'm feeling generous, I'll call you an ambulance later. What? I don't like being lied to. Jen? Switched off. Where is he? It's his birthday. I'm sure there's a simple enough explanation. Yeah, well, we can't all stand round here all day. Dig in, everybody. Oh, about time. Uh, don't mind me. Oh, sorry, I'm just famished. Well, you should have had a breadstick. So, uh, how long have you two been seeing each other, then? Not long now. A couple of months. Yeah. And it's going all right? Yeah, I think so. Still together, aren't we? So, the age difference doesn't bother you, then? Yeah, all right, thank you, Bethany. It's not that big a difference. Anyway, I happen to like a woman who knows who she is, who's had a bit of experience. Mm. Well, you've definitely landed on your feet with her, then. Come on. Little... <laughs> hey, don't let her wind you up. And besides, it's probably not good for you at your age. These canapes look lovely. From the bistro? Oh, I'm impressed. Yeah, but you might want to save some for when David and Gavin get you. Says him right for not turning up to his own party. He'll be here. Just give him chance. Right, just saying. Oh, sorry. You all right? No, I'm not all right. I'm really worried. We could drive him to a field somewhere, tie him to a tree, or feed him to some pigs like in that film. What, babe? No, not flaming babe. All right. Keep your wig on. Anyway, why waste the petrol when we could just break his legs here? Nice one. I like breaking legs, mate. I've been watching too many movies. You think I haven't done this before? He has seen him. Look, I've told you everything that happened, so why don't you just let us go? Okay. What? You can go. You mean that? <laughs> nah. I'm joking. Wait, what are you doing with those? Well, I'm not going to give you a manicure, mate. Eh? Yeah. What, are you off your head? I told you. I don't like being <clears throat> lied to. Eeny, meeny, miny. All right, all right, I'll tell you the truth. I thought you might. Oh, come on, I was looking forward to that. What now? <sighs> Show me. in. Oh. 
Wow, wow, wow. Fand ich sie nie mehr. It's my idea, all right? Not his. I told him to break into your car. Why? To plant drugs in it. This gets bet we got two for the price of one here. Mm. And then what? Now I was going to ring the police and tip him off. But he, he had nothing to do with it, all right? I made him do it. Made him? How? Hypnotize him? Use a remote control on him? What? He owed me. Big time, so I, I called it in. I never gave him a choice. Just true? Yeah. If I catch you sniffing around my car or anywhere near here again, I'll set these two on you. Understand? Good. Now get out! I'll leave him without David. I ain't finished with him yet. Look, just do it, says. I'm not leaving you here. Oh, It must be love. <laughs> But I'll be fine, just go. So, what were you thinking was going to happen if your little plan worked out? Police will arrest us, do us for possession, bang us up? Yeah. What? I said yes. Last time I was inside, I swore I'd never go back. No birds, rubbish food, having to chase cell with some low life, not getting to see your mates, your family, your kid. In fact, the more I think about it, The more you've crossed the line, a big one. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have provoked us, should you? I told you enough times to leave us alone. Oh, so this is all my fault? Yeah. If you just stayed away from Carly and Max, then none of this would have happened. You could have gone back to your little skanky life with your skanky mates. Who are you calling skank? Shut it. You finished? Yeah. Good. Because I'm getting sick of your whiny little voice and your little weasel face. And I definitely get sick of you interfering in my business, trying to mess things up, thinking you can get away with it. Not anymore. So what are you going to do? Oh. I'm going to have to teach you a little lesson, aren't I? Platt. Yes, David Platt. The Salon in Weatherfield? Right, well... There should be another guy that was with him that was a bit taller, um, brown hair, late 20s, way better looking. No. Right, nope, that's that's fine. Thank you anyway. Bye. Who's that? Oh, I managed to get hold of the company that supplies the salon. And? No, look. Well, are you sure it's the right place? I mean, maybe it was a different supply. No, it was definitely the right place, and they haven't been in all day. So he was lying to you? Well, No surprise, really, given his track record. Actually, Gail, it was David that said they were going. Oh, so David's to blame. Is that what you're saying? No. All I'm saying is it's not all Andy's fault. I think you'll find it's all completely and utterly Andy's fault. Not only has he dragged me into it, he's dragged David into it as well. Do you know what? You didn't exactly help matters. Me? What did I do? Letting David see you at the grave like that. <laughs> Well, forgive me for not covering me tracks that day or wearing a disguise when I left the house, only well, I wasn't expecting to be followed. Was I seen as I'm a cleaner, not a hit man for MI5? All right, Gail, don't shout. I'm not shouting. All right, well, I suggest you ease off that vino because I'm sensing a lot of anger. Yeah, that's from because you. I am angry. I'm supposed to be getting married tomorrow in case you'd forgotten and I could do without all this extra stress. Mm. What are you two doing out here? Well, uh, I was just... Gail was just showing me the garden, weren't you, Gail? Yeah. Really? Sounded like you were having an argument to me. Argument? Oh. No, not us. I'm just very passionate about gardens. But you've seen it before, haven't you? Yes, I have. Just not that close up. And it's lovely, Gail. Really nice. Thank you. Right, I'm going to go get another drink. Does she seem all right to you? Maybe she was just wondering where Gavin was. Yeah, join the club. Come on, let's get back. Where are we going? Just keep walking. While you still can. But whatever you're going to do, can you just do it here and get it over? Nah, I need somewhere nice and quiet for what I've got planned for you. Somewhere no one can hear you scream. Well, you can threaten me all you like. I know you're bluffing. I ain't bluffing. After what you tried to do to me today, I ain't playing games anymore. 
You drive. Give us the keys then. Look, I ain't got them. You've got them. I gave them to her. Oh! Okay. What? Get in the car, get after him now! It's a bit of a sore point. Yeah, like her, her ex boyfriend and her weight. Would anybody like another drink? Love one. And how about you? Would you like maybe some uh, fruit juice or some fizzy water? Or how about a nice little glass of warm milk? Hmm. Yeah. It's a shame, isn't it? You can't have a proper drink. You know, like the grown-ups. Mm, I'm not bothered, really. Besides, I'd rather be too young than um, past it. I'm not past it. Didn't say you were. Although, I was wondering, what's it like? What's what like? The menopause. How have you still got all your own teeth? All right, I was only asking. Talk about touching. Hey, where have you been? We, we thought you'd forgotten. Oh, I did, sort of. Um, David asked us to give him a hand picking up some supplies in town for the salon, and then I, I bumped into an old mate and uh, we had a drink. I just lost track of time, I'm sorry. Well, at least you're here now. And where's David? Uh, what, he, he took off, thought he was on his way back. Did he say that? No, not exactly. I'll tell you what, Dad, I can murder a beer. Coming right up. Where have you been? And where's David? He's with Callum. What's he doing with Callum? It's sort of complicated. Is he in trouble? I think so, yeah. Right, I'm calling the police. Uh, you can't. Why not? Like I said, it's complicated. Look, will you just stop talking in riddles and tell me what's going on? Yeah. Surprise! Here! Come on! Yes, Gemma. Now, where were we? Oh. <laughs> What are you doing? Not doing anything. Oh, where you're going, mate. Oh, where are you taking me? If I were you, I'd be more worried about if I was coming back. What are you waiting for? In you get. <laughs> 